hey everyone and welcome back to another episode of the cube smp here today are you guys ready for another episode of the cube last time we did the leap of death which i don't think really exists anymore does it exist i don't think it does um no it doesn't i think it's gone uh we're here at spawn right now and you can see that uh i don't think any progress has been made since last episode but um hey have a look at it, it looks pretty cool i don't think i went into it last episode so uh yeah that's pretty sick and then in the middle here we have this guy, which says Easy Transport. So uh, there's a book in here with instructions, and it says, Welcome to Easy Transport, a temporary transport method you can use to find other people's homes. Turn the page for more. One, take an empty, take an empty map out of the chest. Two, take the map to the area of your home. Right-click on it and generate it, then your name, for example. Uh, grape's name, XZ, then place it back in the chest. Thank you for choosing Easy Transport for your transportation needs. So this is a, uh, this is a new, new transport method. If you guys remember on Cube Evolution, we had the, uh, what's it called, stones. We had those stones that would teleport you on the map, and we had them in an ender chest that everyone could access. And we have it at spawn. So I'm going to take a, a quick little map. I'm going to take this guy, actually, just because, I don't know, I don't want to take the old one out. And I'm going to start off my episode by heading back home, uh, and then I'll come back. And uh, I don't really have much planned for today's episode. I, I did like a four or five hour, four, four hour and 20 minute stream today, uh, and I built my new shop, which I'll go show you guys in a second. And it's all stocked up, so I don't know, that's, that was my plan for today's episode, but I just wasn't really motivated to film it today. Uh, last night, uh, well, yesterday, I've just, I got super overworked and I ended up passing out and hitting my head, <laughs> uh, in, in the hallway. So I kind of slept for like 12 hours and I felt super sick in the morning because I was like super dehydrated. And uh, the reason I passed out was because I hadn't like ate or drunk anything all day. Cause I was just like nonstop working. And like <laughs> when it, when it got around to me going getting food, I ended up getting up and just falling back over and hitting my head, which is always fun. So, uh, no, actually that wasn't fun at all. So waking up today, I was like, oh, I didn't want to film. I just want to relax. And then after streaming for, for four hours, I feel super motivated to do, to do some recording. So I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry that this video is kind of laid out, but hopefully uh, tomorrow's cube isn't as late. Uh, I've been trying my best to keep up, keep up the uh, cube uploads daily. I, I did miss a couple of days back there, but I'm going to try my best to keep them. I, I'm thinking not daily. I'm thinking about five to six times a week. I need to take my breaks here and there um, because it's going to be hard to do like big projects without, you know, doing a lot of stuff off screen and then also being able to make these like big episodes because the episodes are usually 24 minutes long. That's my goal. And then I try to focus on a few smaller things in the episode. And then at the and then hopefully at the end of the episode, we have a final product with something. Uh, and, and then it's hard to focus on big projects when I'm doing that because I'm always focusing on little things. So, uh, yeah, that's sort of how my, my method of doing stuff is going to work this season. Hey, bunnies, what's up? But now we need to head back home, generate this map. I want to show you guys if there's anything uh, new around my house. I don't think there really is. And then we can jump back and then, we, uh, then we'll, we'll show off our new shop. Are you serious? I just tried to eat some potatoes and I generated a goddamn wrong... Ah, you suck. Get out of here. You you still, okay, well, the, I guess the wind affected the way that guy was going. God damn, man. All right, got all my stuff together to make another freaking map. God damn, map. Maps are super expensive to craft. You got to get a compass, and then you got to wrap it around with paper. There we go. And we got ourselves an empty map. Let's generate this guy right inside my house. And, ooh, that, look, that's pretty pretty. So over here, we have, what's it called? Oh, no, over here, we have the area for the falcon. And then we have our farms down this way. Uh, and then this way we have Rush's place. So that's pretty cool. And then I just need to get the cords of this place. So that would be about X260 and then Z negative 90. Okay, cool, dude. Just got to remember that by taking a quick screeny of that. And as far as things going around my house that are new, uh, I got a new painting above my bed. The freaking Mark just stole it again, dude. He stole it. And this time he freaking hit it like super far into his castle. Like it was up some secret place. So got that back in my stream today. Um, and I don't know if there's anything really else that i can show guys uh down here i built my fish farm last episode it didn't do much dude because i don't know what it was but i could not get my freaking thing to work like i just, i went afk for 20 minutes and i came back and it just hadn't got anything so apparently having a fish farm underground somewhat reduces the the amount it works so i think i should replicate this guy upstairs and that's like constantly ticking I don't, why is that why are you constantly ticking dude can I turn you off somehow? Is that what's up? Oh, wait. I don't think it's that thing. I think it's this guy. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Okay, I was about to say, why are, you, why are you taking so much? But yeah, then we got the sheep farm down here as always. And this is going to come into play very soon. I need to start going ham on this guy uh, rather than just having the black wool. I'll take you there, black wool. And then I also have some other wool that I want to take upstairs. But yeah, not much going on in my house today. There's a lot of stuff that's been worked on at spawn. 
Uh, I kind of want to finish my house design soon, but I'm not really motivated to do it. So I think next project that we're going to be doing is uh, now that we've got our spawn shop going, now that we're making some money, uh, I think I'm going to start working on the Millennium Falcon soon. I just need to get some uh, some stuff, some supplies ready for it. And I think next episode we'll start to build the base of that guy. And that's probably going to be like a, a, a week or two long project. We'll see. We'll see how much we can do with it. And then uh, after that, I'm thinking, actually, I don't know. I, I don't want to build my iron farm before that. I really want to build an iron farm somewhere around my house. I was, I was actually, I was thinking about it last night. Russia and um, Kermit both have iron farms, and they're both like doing work for them. Like you know, they're getting free iron off of it. And I kind of really want that because I do a lot of AFK at my house. I've got my AFK sheep farm that's going, and I think having like an iron farm right here that somehow like mixes in with my house design would somewhat look good. I don't really know. I think putting it like right here would be a nice place because this is like you know somewhat like flat. I guess. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. I swear I just saw a creeper. What the heck? Oh my god, I'm seeing things. I had the worst luck with creepers today. But uh, yeah, I'm thinking about building an iron farm, but it's also like a super long and boring process. So I might just do that on stream, like on a late night stream one night. Because that's what Mark did the other day. Mark streamed for like a few hours, like super late at night building his castle. But I really want to do that before I start doing all my sheep AFKing because um, that'll really help out. And plus, while I'm building this guy, I can also get some iron golems to spawn. And I've also got all my paper growing down there so I can use that for paper trades and stuff. I don't really know that, but I also don't want to get into villages at the same time. But uh, I don't know. It's it's a it's a it's a double double edged sword. I don't really know. I don't really know. But uh, I'll see what I can do tonight. I'll 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 mix some ideas together. And I'll, I'll look what I can do. I just gotta start by what getting some weakness potions and getting some zombies trapped, and then bam, got villages. You suck, you stupid map. Anyway, while I walk back to spawn and talking about my boy Rush Rush, I'm gonna go meet up with him, and we're gonna go secretly. Um, gonna go find a uh. I mean, you know what? I'll just roll the clip. Here you go. Enjoy the next clip with my boy Rush Rush. What's up, brother? What's up, brother? How's it going? Oh, nice steed here, brother. <laughs> it's a stallion, but uh, thank you, brother. Oh, well, Russia, what's happening right now? What are we doing out here in the middle of the night? Uh, Dude, with I don't know. You being we're, naked. we're doing some good things. Of course, the P brothers had our first successful prank as a team. Dude, it went very well. Oh. Uh, it, we went, we did good. It looked really good, dude. I loved it. Yeah, I dude, loved this. A lot of people loved it, but sadly, Mark wasn't too big of a fan. Burnt it right down as soon as he saw it. <laughs> Kind of disappointed. Yeah. Uh, hey, that's all right. So we've yeah. got more plans in the future, but for now, we need to start a Prank Brothers headquarters, dude. Yeah. Well, I, like we both noticed that we like you got pranked, right? You got pranked by default, like a mini prank. Like he he yeah. somehow annoyed us. I don't want our homes to be targets, dude. We need to have a secret base that's unprankable. We need to have a base that no one can find, so we we can we can you know not these pranks, but like. Like, you uh, know, people yeah. can't freaking yeah. find us, dude, you know? We need it to be, be secret. Exactly, dude. A safe place where we can share our feelings, emotions, and store yeah. all of our loot. Like, that's, that's what another, we Yeah, do. that's another thing, our dude. I, want, I don't want... Is, oh, watch out here! Oh, oh, oh. Watch out, brother. <laughs> Thanks, oh, dude. Oh, Stallion and oh, I gotta be safe. Oh, 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 oh,
but I can I'll push F three right now just so I can remember my. Uh, there we go. All right, no, 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 I'm just uh, I just I was just taking a little, little peek at the chords just so I can remember them. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, dude, don't show everybody. But yeah, this is gonna be the main entrance of the base rusher. Uh, what yeah. kind of rooms do you think we should have leading off of this? Like, what what do you what do you think we should we should have leading off? Dude, I got no idea. We're gonna have a couple rooms. Uh, maybe the prank, like the actual idea room, the yeah. supply room, a meeting uh, room, the meeting room. We're gonna need to have meetings, and that's we, three rooms would symmetrically be okay. Oh, so. we need to have a trophy room as well, dude. To like for all our previous pranks, we need to like oh. like have like a trophy room. So like like we can keep history, like the the pink prank. Then we like we have our next prank, which involves leaking. Yeah, and mm. we get like we get like the name and then a specific item in an item frame that reminds us of that prank. Yeah, dude, that'll be sick. Yeah, that'll be so cool. That's we gotta it. do that. Yeah. All right, bro. All right, man. Well, uh, we'll we'll work on this over time. Whenever we get some spare time, we'll head on in here. The P Brothers will unite. We've already got plans for another prank, guys. Yeah, uh, dude. Not sure when we're gonna pull it off, though. Hey, Stroud. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, yeah, it's good seeing you, though. I'll see you around uh, around town and stuff. All right, buddy. All right. Yep. See, you, man. Have a, have a great day, dude. Yeah. You too, dude. You too. You too. Oh, I can hear you. You too. See ya. Yeah. You too. Yes, yeah, man. See ya. Bye. All right, cool. Yeah, I'm right back here at spawn. I'm going to quickly rename my map to Straub's House. And then I'm going to go, oh, House, sir. And then I'm going to go, no, what was it? 260 and then negative 90. There we go. Straub's House. And then we can, look at that. There's my house in the map there. And then I'm just going to toss it into the chest really quick. And then I will show you guys the brand new shop. Bloop. There we go. And hopefully I did this right. Oh, no. They did There's a lot more fancy. Oh, never mind. Mine just... <laughs> Straub's house. Oh, that looks like negative. Oh, crap. Is there an anvil somewhere around here? No. Please plop out an anvil. God dang it. All right, here we go. I named it a little bit more fancy. We got <laughs> Straub's house dash X 260Z negative 90. There we go. That looks so much better. Oh, now we, now we go. There we go. There we go, guys. It's, uh, it's all done. It's all done. Now everyone can come find my house and steal my mother trucking resources. Anyways, so if we come down, what does these signs say? This is the shop zone barrier. Build suggestions. Please leave a minimum of three blocks between each build. Oh, and uh, please start shops two blocks from the roadside. Oh, crap. Uh, this is behind, build behind this line if possible. Okay, cool. So, uh, yeah, we've got some more builds here. This is going to be wool shop. I think I showed that. This is a Kermit shop. I don't know if I'm allowed to show that. But, hey, there's a little sneak preview. Didn't show you guys the inside. Grace's Bunny Shop. I think I showed H's place last episode. Uh, and then we have this shop on the block. And look what the... Wait, did I build two blocks? Okay. I, ooh. I, I kind of did, but my clouds sort of go over. We've got Strawberry Jam's Rainbow Shop, guys. Check out this. This is what I built on my stream today. It was a lot of fun being joined by you guys. And I love it when I build on stream because you guys just drop so many awesome suggestions in the stream. Uh, these little glowstone blocks are just up here to stop mob spawning because... Uh, I don't love problems with creepers. So anyway, this is the rainbow shop. If you guys didn't guess it already, we sell wool in here. Uh, it's sort of designed like a rainbow because, you know, that's where all the colors came from. I wasn't too sure what to do for the wool shop. I didn't want to do just a generic shop because that's not my, that's not my crew. This is, uh, that's not my, that's my, not my groove. Uh, <laughs> that I wanted to do something that was a little bit different. Uh, so we've got the, the rainbow and then the rainbow continues down here. So it's not all just red and then it goes at the back here. We've got the magenta banner here to disguise the door as being a magenta door. And then if we come inside, oh, <laughs> it's so pretty on the inside. Uh, it's, there's a sign that's saying stocking up for now. We have lots of white. Um, so if I open up the white chest, it's full up. But, uh, all the other chests are pretty much empty because I haven't really done anything in those guys yet. But if we come all the way down here, it says, give your money to the magic sheep. Uh, which is Jeb. Uh, I don't really have any money, but I'll drop my slime balls into there. So you drop it into there. The sheep will take the money. And then here we go. It says, welcome to Strawberry Jam's Rainbow Shop. Here you can buy all the colors for 1D slash GB. And then it says 1D slash GB per stack. Uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, people can get sort of like Kevin's last season, the same prices and stuff. Uh, the floor design, uh, I love it. Um, someone suggested to do right angles for the floor where it meets up with this and then connects to this, which is like, pfft, blows my mind away, but hey, that works. Um, <laughs> and yeah, they've got the gold block leading to the pot of gold. Um, if you didn't realize that the pot of gold is at the end of the rainbow, this is the end of the rainbow. Pot of gold <laughs> with a magic color sheep in it. 
and then all these little guys are just floating on clouds and being nice and spaced out so you guys can access the chest from the side and stuff which is super duper handy so uh yeah that's that's basically the shop so far i also got gold blocks on the floor just to show how freaking rich i am and then if we come out the back here i don't think i did i set up a payment chest i don't remember if i did i'm pretty sure i did let me see um okay we got a payment hopper there we go <laughs> so then we can just collect our payments from there Block it back up. So yeah, that's my new shop. Hopefully get a lot of business. I know a lot of people like to use wool for the pranks. The only thing is I just need to get a lot of colors for the wool. Uh, colors like U3. What else is there? Uh, you're easy. You're pretty easy. You're easy. You're going to be annoying since you get jungle wood. Um, but yeah, a lot, of, a lot of these colors are pretty easy to get because you can just bone your flowers. If they come up to these two tall flowers up here, uh, we can just hit these guys with bone meal. Like these lilacs or lilacs, however you pronounce them. And it popped out another one. I found that out today and my mind was completely blown away by it. Look at that. Put this peony here. Get some pink dye. Oh, you're pretty easy to get. Magenta is easy to get. And then oh, we have sunflowers, which are like over there a little bit. And then we also have roses, which is pretty cool. But uh, yeah, I completely, I, I, I've, 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 I know I was told about it before, but I never really kept it in my mind. And I'd forgotten about it. And I never like thought about that. But yeah, I found out about that on my stream today, which is, you know, I love stuff like that because you guys just let me know like while I'm live and doing it right there. And I got some flowers over here, which is uh, which I need to get a little bit more of these guys. So just whack these guys a tad. Blah, 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 blah. And all the coins burst out. <laughs> and then you get some more of these. And then these, of course, give two instead of one. Plop that in there. And then we can get like orange and everything. So yeah, they're, they're going to be pretty easy to get. I'm just a little bit worried about all the other stuff. And I'm thinking, actually, I'm going to get one of each of these guys. And I'm going to plant them downstairs in my place. And then I'm going to just keep them there. So if I, if I ever need to bone mill them. Look, they're right next to me. So there's you. Get the lilac. And then I just need the one that I absolutely despise, the peony. You're such an ugly flower, dude. Why are you so ugly? But anyway, I'll take you. I'll take you anyway. Maybe if it had like this bright green on the inside instead of the way it looks. It's, it's, it's just, ugh, I don't like it. Anyway, let's head over to something else that spawned. I think I missed out on this guy last episode or wasn't built. I'm not too sure. But this is crystal blue. I don't know how to freaking say that word. But Timsy built this, and it's like a little van. Uh, apparently, it's from Breaking Bad, which I have never seen. Uh, but I used it today to purchase some uh, some lapis. You can purchase lapis for here. Uh, 16 for two gold ingots, which is pretty cool. Um, but uh, yeah, if you guys have any lapis and you're on the cube, I don't know if you're on the cube or not. But uh, yeah, you know from this little guy. It's such a cool little build. Look at it. It's so cute. It's so cute. Look at you and your little... Oh, yeah, I'm going to drive you away now. <laughs> All right, guys. So now I'm actually going to head home and start to work on some farms. Because you can see that I've only got three potatoes left in my little even. <gasps> Grape? Is that you? Oh, no. Uh, hey. 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 Are you lagging? Are you all right, man? No, 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 no. <laughs> Great! <laughs> Hello, friend. Hi, Strabu. Great! I was just, I was just walking on by, right? And I was like, "Hey, guys, I need to go build some farms because this is all the food I have left. This is all the food." Oh, Thank hey! You. Now I have Thank no you. food. Thank you. And then I just realized, oh, I can smell it. I can smell all the fresh fruit that you. Oh, okay, fruit and vegetable. Well, this is actually fruit. No fruit. Whoa! I'm sorry, I was smelling you for a second there. You're the fruit. The vegetables! I can smell all the beautiful vegetables you're selling. They're just growing, growing, selling. Try Great. one, try one, try one. I'll try, okay, I'll try it, I'll try it. Mm. Oh, I love it. Free this. sample. Okay, alright, I'm full, but I'll lick it. <laughs> I just licked my mic. Why did I do that? Yuck! Okay, anyway, Grape, I was thinking, hey man, could you sell me some food? Because uh, I'm kind of hungry. I would love to sell you some food. I have a wide selection you could choose from. Oh, really? Follow me along this. Don't trample okay. the crops. Oh, oh, so, so, careful. So, so. Uh, I'll be careful. very careful. So we, we have go, we go. the potatoes here. Okay, yeah. These are very good. This is what I personally eat. Yep, personally. Go ahead and try one of those too. All right. I can't and exactly then, eat it because I'm full. But anyway, let's go. All right. Down this way, we have the carrot farm. I oh. do like carrots as well. All right. And they're cool, pretty cool. good. Cool, cool. Uh, yeah, yeah. And then we have our organic wheat over here. You could do a number of things with this wheat. You could actually eat it <laughs> in the form of bread, obviously. Or you can use it to breed animals or to eat make later. Cake. Make a cake. Oh. oh, more making cake. Strawberry thinking out of the box. Yeah, or, dude. or if you want to just say. Oh, this poor guy's stuck in here. Hello. If, if you want to say heck, heck making a cake, you can go over to this guy right here. One emerald equals a cake. There you go. Oh, that's that's absolutely brilliant. Too bad you have to put them on the ground and they don't stack and you have to. Anyway, there you go. I'm a little bit hungry. Thank I you. Was, I was actually thinking. Oh, wow. Okay. See, man. Um, I was actually <laughs> thinking. Great. So, all right. So, 
Uh, I had to move my farms to make room for my sheep farm. So now I have no food that is growing. And um, I don't know. I feel kind of bad just coming over here and yoinking some of your stuff for free. Because, you know, this is your land. You spend a lot of money on this land. Well, uh, not really. But, you know, you put a lot of time, a lot of time invested. Yeah, yeah. So I was thinking, great. How about I make a deal with you? How much would it cost for me to use your farms unlimitedly, unlimitedly uh, for life? And, and how much would it cost me right now to do it? Uh, how much? How much? I don't do know I have because I have plans on expanding big. Exactly, exactly, dude. Oh, Kermit loves us. That's beautiful. Uh, anyway, uh, like, dude, yeah, I was, I was just wondering, dude, how much? Cause uh, I, I just want to know. It could be a monthly transaction. We can make this a monthly thing. Uh, we can start yeah, small I'll, now. Yeah, I'll leave this. I don't know if I'll be leaving this here for a full month. So can we do like two weeks? Okay, we can do a two week transaction. How much do you think it would be worth? Like two weeks of me using your farms. Um, all this right here. You'll replant? Yeah, I'll replant. Uh, definitely. And you'll and fix these trampled ones if you do that? Yeah, if, if it's trampled, dude, I'll fix it. I'll fix it even, dude, if, if, even if I didn't do it. Um, I think that's worth about, um, where are we talking GBs or dimes? Dude, I bought both. I bought both. Ooh. <laughs> it's like we, it's like this was meant to be. I'm thinking like, I don't know, just taking a shot in the dark here. Taking a quick pitch into uh, the dark. Ooh, th four GBs. All right, here we go, great. Three GBs? One, two, three, four. You know, I'll make it five. Bam! There you go, wow! great. Just be a generosity. What a deal! There you go, dude. Hopefully, uh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. There you go, man. There you go. Oh, watch out for these zombies, dude. These guys are gonna get your get your little uh, little vills over back. Okay, you know, just because oh, I'm feeling friendly. Oh, there we go. we'll oh. give you the grape applesauce starter kit. Oh, really? Great apple sauce. There you go. Take, kit. take that. Take oh. that. Oh. And I don't really have a stack of wheat, so I'm sorry. I can't get it. It's all good. It's all good, dude. I, I didn't need the wheat. I wouldn't, I wouldn't use it too well. Anyway, all right. Sweet. Thanks, Grape. Thanks, man. I really You're appreciate welcome. your business. I appreciate being a great neighbor and stuff. Uh, I'm just going to have to trample sure. this guy real quick. There we go. Oh, never mind. All right. Uh, oh, okay. okay, thank you. And uh, I'll be on. Oh, all right, man. I'll, uh, I'll be on my way, dude. I love you. All right. Bye. Thank you. All right, guys, that was a pretty swift deal here. I'm kind of happy about that because I've been running low on food the past couple days. Grazer? 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 What are you freaking doing in here, man? You all right? What the heck is this? <laughs> What the heck is this poor guy doing? What the heck? Oh, he's fishing. He's fishing. Let's see what this guy's caught so far. He's been AFK on the server for quite a bit now. Let's see. What, how's it going? How's it going? Oh, power three. Some fish. So, yeah, guys. This is a uh, this is this is how the AFK fish farm. He just caught something as well. This is how the AFK fish farm works, if you guys were wondering. Oh, I didn't think he caught anything. Oh, I think he caught a puffer fish or a salmon. But yeah, this is how it works. This is a, uh, this is a, this is basically, yeah, this is exactly how it works. This is a, he's doing a good job at making it work, actually. Look at him go. I don't know if he put, him putting the cobblestone on top of this. Oh, he's about to catch, catch something else. Makes it, uh, what's it called? Like, any less efficient. But hey, it's working for him. Got another raw fish, I think. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for today's episode of The Cube, guys. If you really did enjoy it, be sure to slap it out with like. It helps out a stack. There'll be a brand new episode out tomorrow where we start to work on the Millennium Falcon. So be sure to look out for that guy. I think I'm also going to do some work on my, what's it called, my iron farm tonight. I'm going to see if I can get some villagers. Maybe stream. We'll see what I can do. And I'm also going to work on my paper farm. So maybe I could trade my villagers. There's a little creeper guy down here. He's just chilling. Get out of here, dude. Get out of here. Um, and, uh... Yeah, I think that's just about everything. And then, of course, I'll be working on some more projects after I get all that stuff done. A lot of work. Work, work, work. That's all it is. But uh, I think that's about it. So as far as any been watching, I've been Story Jam. This has been the Cube SMP. And uh, Grazer, do you want to say goodbye to me? Do you want to just say goodbye to my viewers, Grazer? I think he's waving. I think he's waving. All right, guys. <laughs> See you later. Bye-bye.